Hey everyone, I am DaveCN5, and this is a Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today I'm looking at the Class Arian 520 tractor, along with the Signum, or Sigma 4 Titanium. Uh, it's actually a version 1.2. Comes in a combo pack courtesy of ls2013.com from Dobitz. It is a 6 megabyte file. Uh, the tractor uh, front loader attachment costs you about 10200 and the tractor itself costs about 785 Now a 6 megabyte file is a really good file size for this type of tractor. Um, I'll place it from the outside. It looks really good. I like the front loader a lot. And that's just the standard bucket that you get for um, the front loader section of the shop. Tires and wheels look very good. Uh, it's when you get to the back of the tractor that it starts to look a little just bland. If you look to the left, you can see that the axle is not correctly attached to the tires on either side. And also, the hydraulic attachment points are just kind of painted on, and there's just this dull, nothing going on area there. Inside the cab, it's kind of the same story. Um, the dash looks pretty good. Uh, you got a load indicator status light on the A pillar, which I really like. And then specific to this mod is the class information system, which you turn on by pressing numpad zero. And you get controls for the front and rear work lights, left, right, turn signal, hazard lights, and other things like that. Again, it's numpad zero. I do like the fact that the cab is all glass. Um, I like to spend time playing inside the cab from this point of view. Uh, but if you're a person who likes to use the quick camera mod, you may not like this tractor. Uh, the armrest looks kind of lackadaisical from a lack of detail in the mapped image. But going back to the quick camera, from the outside, quick camera works flawlessly. Instantly flip forward and back. However, when you're inside, that quick rotate camera does not button. I'm hitting it right now. The front loader works pretty well. The only real problem is trying to hook it up and detach it. Uh, when you first buy it in from the store, it spawns like that, just kind of sticking out of the ground. It took me about 15 minutes to flip it over uh, to get it to be attachable. And the other thing I've realized is about 50% of the time, if you try and detach it from the tractor itself, it's going to do the exact same thing. So let me see if it'll do it here if I unhook. Usually it, it'll stay still until you back away, far enough away from it, and then it'll flip forward into the ground. And there it goes. So good luck getting that back up. As far as functions of the tractor, everything works properly. You got your beacon lights, front headlights, rear work lights, front work lights, and everything will run at the same time. I haven't had any conflict issues. And even though the uh, time clock on the bottom says I've only run it for 0.1 hours, I've been running it on a different map for over two hours and I haven't had any problems. As for being a tractor, it does a great job. Over here I have it hooked up to uh, the Volgo New 800 uh, Terra Top Cultivator. I put a simple front wheat on it. And I'm using the Volgo New just because it's a factory implement and it can be used as a standard to test against other mods. It's just something a little more fair and we know what it's supposed to be able to do. Uh, this tractor is supposed to be comparable to the about the 620 series of the Dutes. Um, and it far exceeds that. When you buy the Volgo Newt, they say you have to use the Steiger 600, um, or the case over there, in order for it to work. Uh, you hook this up, hit cruise control number two, and it will just pull right away, no problems at all. I was a little surprised by this. Obviously, it's not completely realistic. But functionally, if that's what you want in a tractor is a small tractor, this may be a good fit for you. The other thing I was thinking it would probably struggle with would be the full-size cramped body 
uh, BBS 900. As you can see, it's fully loaded with almost 47,000 units a week. Again, hit speed level 2, and it will pull right away. And it'll pull this trailer about 30 miles an hour. That's pretty good considering that the uh, full-size Dutes X720 will do the next bigger up trailer, the um, Krogel SRV 350, I think it is, at only about 20 miles an hour. So this does a very good job. Um, so overall, um, in regards to the class Arian 520 with the Sigma 4 front loader version 1.2, for the size of the file, it's a 6 megabyte zip file with both mods in there. And I actually think that's a great sized file for this um, type of mod, especially for this quality. So if I had to give that rank down on a point system, I'd give it a 3 out of 3 points. Uh, as for the looks goes, um, I like the looks of it. I just had the, you know, the inside of the cab and the back look a little, a little sparse. So I would give it a 2 out of 3 points. As far as performance, I give it a 3 out of 3 because it will perform and pull anything you want. Um, as far as the scripting goes, I gave it a 1 out of 3 points just for the problems with the front loader and also for the problem with the quick camera. Now I know that's an additional mod that not a lot of people use, but this is the only mod I've had this problem with. I haven't had any mod conflicts and I still have other mods in my mod folder and none of them are having this problem. But another great thing about this tractor is the air log. It is clean. There is no errors at all. So that gives us another 3 out of 3 points, reaching a grand total of 12 out of 15. Overall, I think this is a great tractor for anyone who is looking for a class tractor. Uh, not so great if you're looking for a front loader. There are better choices out there, maybe even the standard dudes that comes in the game. But again, that is the class Erian 520 with the Sigma 4 front loader version 1.2 from Dovitz on ls2013.com. I am Dave CN5, and I hope to see you later, and I'll see you in the fields.